Hey guys, remember Car18 here back again reviewing Star Wars Legacy Collection, Imperial Scanning Crew. He is Build a Joy number 32 of the New Hope Wave. Um, so he's a completely new sculpt. Um, highly army buildable. Um, a lot of these a lot of people are buying a ton of these guys and army building them. Um, simply because he can make a lot of figures. He can make an Imperial Officer, uh, Scanning Crew Technician, um, ATSC driver, and almost anything. Um, so, it's a really nice looking figure though. Pretty good detailed and everything. Um, but the one thing is it doesn't come with the correct scanning box. Um, but though it actually is in the movie, just kind of like in the background kind of. Um, but there is a second version of this guy that's coming out, I believe in the new, I mean the expanded universe wave. Uh, towards, I believe January. I'm not sure exactly. Um, but that does come with the correct box and he's a different variation. Um, but anyways, back to this figure, um, Hasbro made their own, uh, what is that, uh, their own card art, or whatever you want to call it, um, but it's kind of ugly in my opinion, I don't really like the look of it, it makes it look kind of bad looking though, um, but other than that, the figure's pretty nice though, um, so he does come with his E11 blaster pistol, so it's pretty cool, and then here's on the bottom, and then here's the back, Shows a nice picture from the New Hope of them, and a picture of the figure. As you can see on the back, it shows the correct box, which is the one that the, you can see in the picture here. Well, that one should be coming with the second version, so it's pretty cool. And he comes with the R3A2 right leg, so it's pretty cool. And it says, an Imperial scanning crew checks the Millennium Falcon to make sure no one is on board. The two-man crew brings the scanners onto the ship and quickly discovers that the vessel is not empty as it first appeared to be. So, that's what it says. You can see some other figures from the wave down here. So, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys next part of the view. Hey guys, Commander Car 180 back again and I now have the Imperial Scanning Crew unboxed. So, I'll go over his little scanning crew box. Uh, this isn't the actual box that they used to carry into the Falcon during the movie, but when Luke comes back out in the Stormtrooper suit, you can see that this one's, like, outside the Falcon. Um, but yeah, uh, it's got the same wheels as the Jawa security droid, and you can pop them out if you want to. Um, it's got two, and it's pretty much hollow on the inside, but pretty cool little detail, nice paint apps on it. Um, not much you can do with it other than this display item. Um, but still, it's a pretty cool little accessory, um, and really adds on to it. Um, and then the figure itself is a completely new sculpt, um, but he does come with a E11 blaster, which has kind of got a silverish paint on it, and for the first time, they have a working holster for this blaster. Um, they had holsters before on the Stormtroopers, um, but they didn't really work that well, um, but this time, you can actually use it, and it actually works, but it's kind of a little bulky looking, but... It's pretty nice, though. Um, then he's got this nice belt with a little belt buckle on there. It's pretty cool. You can see his transmit transmitter uh, thing right there. Um, then he's got two Imperial symbols on his shoulders. Uh, he's also got, like, pens or something right there. Then you can see all the detail and everything, like pouches and wrinkled up of his whatever he's wearing, his jumpsuit. Um, but it's pretty cool. And then he's got a black Imperial cap. Um, pretty cool as well. Kind of a blah figure, but still a really nice army builder. Um, the articulation is ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, swivel wrists, um, swivel waist, swivel hips, ball jointed knees, and ball jointed ankles. Uh, the shoulder articulation is limited because of the little imperial symbols are um, they're bulging out kind of, so you can't really move your shoulders that much. Um, but still, really nice figure. Um, sadly, the second variation of this figure, uh, was supposed to come out with Expanded Universal Wave, which is, I believe, in a month. Um, but Hasbro ended up canceling it, and the figure has been pushed back until at least 2011, which really sucks. Um, that, that, ver that version was supposed to come with the accurate, uh, scanning box, which actually worked, and it had a different, um, Helmet sculpt as well. Well, head sculpt, not helmet. Um, well, that kind of sucks for fans. Uh, Hasbro this year has been really screwing up on their variations. 
like the Grey Ugnaught, which took forever to get out. Um, the second best in guard, which was supposed to be coming out in the Expanded Universe Live, and then they said they're going to cancel it, but then now they're saying that it's coming in the Expanded Universe Live, so they're really mi mixing us all up. Um, and there's also supposed to be a second Utah figure, the fatter version, um, but sadly they got a, they canceled that figure as well, uh, which really sucks. And same thing with the Hawk Rebel Soldier, which you can see in my background right there. Um, he was supposed to have a second version, which was supposed to come out, but that never ended up happening, and they have no clue when they're supposed to get that out. So, Hasbro has been done a really bad job on their variations this year, um, which really sucks. And a lot of people have suggested that they would um, should make a battle pack with all the different variations and get them all out for fans, which would be a really nice idea, and I'm pretty sure a lot of fans would pick it up. So, anyways, back to this figure. Um, so, it's a pretty cool army builder, really nice figure. Pretty cool detail as well. I'll give it a 5 out of 5 just because it's really cool and it's pretty hard to find as well. So if you see one, you should pick it up. And that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in the next review.